it's a little dark. I'm recording on my phone because it's raining outside. And I don't want my camera to get wet. But um, because it's raining, our plans changed. Instead of heading to Yamagata, we're going to Sendai to go to the mall and kind of like stay in for a little bit, which I'm happy about because I'm completely exhausted. This trip is mainly to kind of show who's family around. Um, I'm not going to be climbing no mountains, climbing no steps. And yeah, I'm, gonna, like, I'm not doing all of that. So yeah, you guys won't be seeing that or any of that stuff um, this time around. Also too, because like somebody has to stay with the baby. So I hope that doesn't make this vlog a little boring for you guys. But I'll take you along as much as I can and I'll show you guys as much as I possibly can. So stay tuned. Feels like the first time Throw away all my pride Don't wanna say I love you first But holding it in just might make me burst Love in the open Daydreaming hoping Melting in our make-believe new worlds Whispering winds bring the remembrance That you're my girl freaking exhausted i'm honestly about to go soak in the onsen i'm just running the water right now but before i kind of relax for the day i wanted to kind of go over some things today that i noticed and i wanted to go over what we did um yesterday and today so yesterday when we got here it was already dark i think it was i don't even know maybe like I don't even know <laughs> it was late and um, we had to run and we got food from the supermarket because a lot of things closed early yesterday's trip which from Misawa to here supposed to take four hours it took like six hours instead I was able to pump in the car and I just fed Kenji um, in his car seat uh, we stopped to like snack and stuff like that and it took us forever to leave because um, if you guys saw my last video, y'all know, like, I waited to the last minute. I waited for the last minute to, um, to pack our stuff. And so, the day of, I was still kind of getting things, um, organized and stuff, which, I don't know why the hell I did that. Anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so anyway, we got here last night and we just ate food that we got at the grocery store and um we kind of just relaxed kylie and i got an onsen yesterday and then um we came up and went to sleep we didn't do anything and then tonight today it was raining as you guys saw earlier so what was supposed to happen was um lou was supposed to take his family to this temple that we went to um when we first got here the first trip that we did in sunday and it ended up raining so they didn't go we just 
went to the mall and kind of spent the day there like walking around and um, things of the sort so I didn't do too much recording because you guys seen that already the purpose of this cabin trip was um, to like have fun with Lou's family and you know like make the most of them being here show them around um you know obviously do get for us to get out the house um for us as in me to get out the house and like get out Kenji finally has his six week shots so you know we wanted to do something that was gonna be kind of lighthearted, like an introduction to traveling again you know and what I would I imagine it was going to be like it is not that way like it's been so long since I traveled with an infant and when I think back to like traveling with Kylie we did a lot of road trips the road trips that we did when I was with her I would do at night so when she was sleeping I would drive the majority of the way um, and then I would stop to feed her or change her or whatever the case may be and then just get back on the road and so when I think about like that versus now traveling with Kenji it's just is different um and I know you can't like compare the babies but of course as far as travel goes that's the only experience I have when it comes to traveling with an infant or a child um are you gonna put that on a charger where's the charger Mitch where is the charger okay well go look for it and um it it just hasn't been um it just hasn't been the same it's a lot harder than i remember last year we did a lot of hiking and like outdoorsy stuff and i actually enjoyed that and i was hoping to do those things again this year and it's starting to hit me that that's not gonna happen like i'm not gonna be able to do as much things as i want to do or if i if i experience something is not going to be like as a family it's going to be like Lou's going to do his day of that and then I'll do my day of it for instance uh, Fuji so Lou's command does these trips every year and last year we didn't go to Fuji because I was pregnant and this year I'm not pregnant but we have an infant so Lou's going to go because it's his command trip um, we're all going him and Kylie I guess will go the first day of the trip with his command and then the next day I'll just go by myself um, or I'll go with Ky like I'll go with Kylie, but it's, it's not the same. Like we're having these experiences separately and not together because right now we just can't. Um, and I didn't think about that, you know. I didn't think about any of. I guess I don't want to say I didn't think about any of it. I just didn't think about certain things, certain details. Um, especially living in Japan and like doing the things that we like to do. Lou and I also talked about doing another trip um, like out of the country. Um, if you guys don't know, we went to Thailand this past Christmas. And so we was like, that would be like, I still want to go to Vietnam. Like we still have other countries that we want to hit. And I was thinking like, mm, nope. Of course it's easier to hit those countries over here in Japan, but I don't want to do I don't want to do a trip like that with Kenji. I, hell, I don't want to do one like that with Kylie either. <laughs> I mean, she's good to travel with, but I'm ready to travel without children. Like, that that's the kind of travel I want to do. Um, especially to some of these countries. I want to... I want to enjoy some adult time and, you know, adult beverages and not really worry about, you know the children and their needs and their wants I I just want to worry about my own for a little bit so we talked about that and you know we're like well let's just wait until we get back to the states and we have family that can watch the children and then spend extra money to come back on this side and it's it's a lot honestly it is um so I'm quickly realizing that but I am um I guess what I'm what I'm going to do or what I have to do now is plan trips that are family friendly with an infant 
um this is definitely not like tomorrow they are gonna go to that temple that i was telling you guys about and i'm gonna take you guys with me because i'm gonna have to find something to do while they're at that temple because that temple is like a thousand steps and we have a stroller i think i don't even remember if i bought my wrap and even if i did bring my wrap to carry kenji like it's gonna be hot tomorrow it's gonna be a lot of sweating a lot of heat mosquitoes and like that's not really gonna work out for us so it's just something that i i won't be able to do so um the place that we're going to is an hour from here we also check out tomorrow so it's not like i can just drop them off and come back i'm gonna drop them off and like find something to do and that within itself is gonna be anxiety induced for me because um one we had we we rented the big van from um from the auto shop on base so i'm gonna have to find parking i'm gonna have to find something to do i'm gonna have to pump within that time possibly i'm pumping every four hours sometimes i'll go to five hours but i try not to go past five hours so if and then i don't know how like kylie and lou already did it but it's gonna be um a new hiking experience for um our family members that are here and so you know of course there's things to see like it's not just you go up and you come down it's not it's not a mountain like they have gift shops and stores and you know they of course you want to take pictures and you know if they want to make it to the top it's gonna take some time so uh yeah it's probably gonna take them over two hours um so yeah i'm gonna be trying to find something to do with kenji and the way he's been acting in his car seat lately, it, it's just, there's that, that I'm going to have to worry about. Um, today when we was out, the place where we, where we went, there wasn't, it was hard to find, um, it was hard to find bathrooms with changing stations. Um, so, hopefully that won't happen. And hopefully I won't have to do a lot of driving. I'm just really... Um, I'm, I'm on edge, honestly, about tomorrow's endeavors. So we'll see how it goes. I'm also worried about the ice that, like the ice packs. They did great today, but they, you know, started melting and stuff. We was kind of out all day. Tomorrow will be, we'll be out even longer because they're doing that in the morning. And then I'm assuming we're going to go eat lunch and then we're going to drive back. And like I said, what is supposed to be a four hour turns out to be a six hour on the way here i feel like it's going to be longer because we'll have to stop to eat dinner so there's all of that i don't know if my ice packs will make it throughout the whole darn day and yeah i'm just really i'm really nervous about tomorrow but we'll see like i said i'll take you guys with me um as much as possible for that <laughs> Going forward, um, when it comes to our travel, we're going to really have to do things that's going to be, um, like I said, infant friendly at this point. And um, yeah, I think today ruined our day. The fact that it rained ruined our day because they were supposed to do that today. So we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes, but I'm not I'm not excited about it at all <laughs> but tonight i'm gonna relax i'm going to soak in the onsen um in just a bit and i'm gonna drink some wine and i'm gonna take the edge off and um i'm probably gonna play some uno with kylie i don't know how much of um everything i just said i'm gonna capture so if i don't see you guys um later today i will see you guys tomorrow for the adventure of a lifetime um and y'all better wish me luck but i'll see you guys later Playing dresses, going all to different places different planets watch your aura pass me by losing balance what if we were out of time and second chances empty and
a proud moment for me. The teacher became the student. This little grasshopper. <laughs> he finally beat me for like the fifth time, but that don't matter. At Uno. The fifth time. Okay, but we played like 20 games. All right, one more game. I have to come on here real second. Kavi and I just started playing a game. We're like two seconds in. And I already have Uno. Remember what I said about the grasshopper becoming the teacher? <laughs> when I'm focused. Go ahead. Go. Go. Bam. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go ask Poppy. <laughs> Ma no, he needs to stay out of it. <laughs> no. Lou, yes, you can. No, you can't. <laughs> Mind your business. He's a cheater, cheater, punk me. Go sit down. Focus on your game. She's right, a cheater, cheater. Get my cord. I'm still gonna win. Go. Go. Oh no, wow. Bam. just dropped Lou and um, everybody else off and I'm now I'm at the mall and it's not the outlets mall that I wanted to go to the place that I'm at was about 17 minutes from where I dropped them off at the ride was smooth other than the fact that I left the key with Lou and I was driving here so I had to like turn around get the key and then come back here but other than that it went fine um, Kenji just ate so I'm about to take him out and I'm going to just walk around the mall for a little bit if I can find something that I like I'll buy it if not I'm starting to get a little hungry too so I'll probably grab something to eat so I'm gonna take you guys along with me um as you can see he's right here we was all the way in the back so we moved his seat up right here so that I can have easy access to him and then look at all this stuff this is like not even all the stuff that I have to bring with me <sighs> so I'm about to get out and get the stroller and start um unpacking it's really windy today so um i want to just like hurry up and get him into the mall as soon as possible But you stay down, real from the app by the play out. Spending time wind down what it's take out. And when I'm in them walls, you feel it in your bones. I've been on the road, this choke that I hold on your soul got me making up for days out. Got you singing tones till you laid out. It feel like what we are never fade out. Fade out, fade out. I let it ride when I usually would have rolled out. Baby, say please and thank you because your love will stay. Look at this trouble. And I have to pack everything because I'm also pumping. And so I need to have bottles, which is in here. Um, and then anything I pump, which is in there, like the coolers. Now I'm gonna get the baby out. Um, but before I get him out, I'm gonna turn off the car. Chasing they all lanes Trust me when I say I'm still the same They gon' understand it one day Yeah, yeah 
Told him that I gave him life, he said, right Now we can leave from my side, oh my god Girl, you know I ain't chasing fame You caught the vibe that I'm sending you away You see that I'm still the same Real one, I'ma never change my way Okay, so we just got in the car from the mall. Luke called me. That's why I'm heading out because there's so many more stores in there that I would love to see. But I'm going to go get them real quick. And then I wanted to do like a little haul with you guys and show you what I got. But I just don't have time. So um, let me go get them. And then um, maybe I'll do the haul when I get home or sometime later. All right. So I'll see you guys later. This came out first Something. three episodes came out yesterday i told Before myself i, I was gonna watch like one or two episodes and leave the rest for today so i have something like less than three minutes left. i literally been watched all three episodes in one city and the actors that play the characters are exactly or like they look exactly like to what i was envisioning mm -hmm. when i was reading the book that's never happened with any book i've read money coming money go i've been at it i've been at it on a low trapping out a while i can see the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you Pull up on you, let me scoop. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn a thing, flow it in the coop. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my. Hey guys, so it's actually been a while since I've been home. We got back from the cabin a few weeks ago. I know, I know. There was a lot going on. Um, the day we got back, like the next day, everybody was exhausted. So we just relaxed. And then the, the day after that, so two days after we came back from the trip, Lou and his brother and um, his brother's brother-in-law left to go to Tokyo. So they was out in Tokyo for a while, enjoying the rest of the time that they had in Japan. And it was just myself with Kylie and Kenji. So, you know, there was a plethora of things going on. We had birthdays, we had Father's Day, we had um, yeah, just a lot going on. So I'm finally able to sit down and make the last part of this video. For you guys so here is the haul that I didn't get to show you guys the day I went to the mall so what you guys didn't see is I went to the body shop and that was the first store I stopped in so I'm going to show you everything I got from there and then you guys saw me going into um, H&M so from the body shop I got this um, Polynesian Manoli radiance oil and it is a radiant body and hair oil so this is how it looks And it smells so freaking good. I've only used this product one time. Um, and I think, yeah, I only used it one time. And when I used it, I just put a little bit in my hair. <laughs> it smells really, really good. It's almost, it smells like perfume to me. So I love this. I've pretty much used all of these products at least once. So the next thing I got was the Wild Argan which is a nourishing body, a nourishing dry body oil. This smells good. I love body oils, honestly. I feel like they moisturize a lot better than a lotion would. Oh my God. It smells so good. Um, so this is how the bottle looks. Lately, I've been really into body oils. Um, I like taking a shower at night and just putting on body oil instead of lotion. I don't know what it is right now, but I think my body's kind of maybe like in between. The lotion that I've been using for years now hasn't been working for me. So I picked up these two oils to kind of like um, mitigate the dry skin that I've been having. And the fact that they both smell so freaking good is, is, is just a bonus. The smell is not overpowering or anything like that. I don't have a sensitive snow, so maybe if you're somebody who is like if you have sensitive um, a sensitive nose then that might bother you but I, it doesn't bother me to, to me it's like a really nice but subtle smell um, I would definitely recommend both of these oils they um, they just smell good and they make you feel good the next thing that I got from um, the body shop is the vitamin E skin cooling gel mist and this is how it looks and as you guys can see I've already used some of it um, I really like this um, this gel cooling mist the, honestly I'm gonna say this about all of the products they smell really really good they all the products smell really good this is really light lightweight and I like the cooling feeling that it gives me it smells good which is also a plus um, I've used this maybe three times maybe 
even though it looks like I've used it more but <laughs> I've used it maybe three times three or four times um, and I like it I have really dry skin uh, well I have overall really dry skin but my face is dry when I got this one I was looking for something I could I can hydrate my face with throughout the day if um, I feel like my face is getting dry I'm still looking for facial moisturizers that actually like work and keep my face moisturized throughout the day and I'm kind of still working on my kind of skin routine with my face so um yeah I like it I honestly haven't used it I've used it in the morning like right when I wake up I haven't tried like using it throughout the day like right now my face feels dry let me spray my face mm. it smells so good yeah, it smells good. It's definitely like really cooling to my skin and oh, <laughs> I love it. All right, so the last thing I got was the vitamin E overnight serum in oil and this is how it looks. I hope you guys can see that. But um, it comes with this little droplet here. And... Um, this bottle is breakable so you just have to be careful when storing it like where you store it and how you store it and stuff like that but this is supposed to be good for all skin types i've used this a few times before bed um and like i said i have really dry skin so i've only used it when i felt like my skin was really dry um and lately it's like i haven't been drinking enough water so that's that's a part of why my skin has been dry but i've used this a few times right before bed i love the way it smells which like i said for all of the product products i love the way that they smell it's a really light oil so it's not heavy on my skin so far i like it i'm not necessarily sure that it is moisturizing my skin the way i need it to and that could just be on my part i haven't used it consistently honestly <laughs> and i haven't used it consistently because i'm like i just I've used it because I wanted to try it, but I also was trying to save the products for this video because I'm like, I I need product in the bottle to show you guys. <laughs> and so from probably tonight forward, I'll be using it more consistently. Um, and I don't really have like a nighttime routine as far as like my facial care um, or my skincare. And I'm still working on that, building that up. I'm still learning a lot about my skin. I am pretty much and I've always been one of those people that just like I don't know I never put too much thought into it um so now I'm trying to start putting more thought into like my skincare and the health of my skin so the verdict is still out <laughs> for this product but I do love it so far as far as the lightness of the oil the way it smells um and honestly when I use these products I feel I feel like a sense of like a sense of self care. It feels relaxing. So even if these products aren't necessarily doing what they say that they're doing, I still feel good when I use them. So I mean, I'm still gonna use it because I paid my money for it. <laughs> but hopefully, they are doing what they are supposed to do. Once I and I'll start seeing the benefits of that as I use it throughout, like more consistently, basically. Okay, so from H and M, um, I got this bag. This is a regular lime bag and I honestly wasn't going to get this one at first. I have my eye on another one but I picked this one up because I bought shoes that have this green color. The shoes are a little bit darker but I think I could still make it work. So I have shoes and a hat so I needed a bag to match. And um, it has this really long um, strap so I can wear it like crossbody. I don't like wearing bags like this crossbody though because it's so small and I'm a tall person and I'm kind of curvy so I will just probably use the handles because I think it looks weird but anyway and then on the inside is just one big pocket there's no like smaller pockets in it so I mean it's a it's a simple bag <laughs> Um, and I paid a thousand one thousand nine hundred and ninety nine yen for this bag. I also bought um, a shirt that I showed you guys in the video. I bought that shirt for him for his birthday, so I'll insert like a picture or a clip or something of him wearing it because that did pass, and that's the reason why I don't have it with me because he already wore it and I, we haven't washed it yet. 
So I did buy that. That's all I got from the mall. And then um, I enjoyed the mall. I don't remember if I had to pump. I don't think I had to pump. I know I was saying that I was a little nervous about just me and Kenji kind of like exploring the town. Well, everybody else had went to the temple, but it really wasn't that bad. Lou is actually the person who found the mall for me. So he found it the night before because I didn't have time to look because I was just busy. Um, I think you guys saw the night before I was playing cards and there was other stuff happening by the time I was time for bed and it was like I had rest time I was exhausted from the day so I was just like I'll look for tomorrow and then the next day we was just like on the go because it was the last day that we could be at the cabin so we had to pack all of our stuff up because of course we didn't do it the night before <laughs> so I didn't have time but Lou did it for me so he um he already like gave me the coordinates for it and it was a mall so there was an area for me to pump there was um if i needed to which i didn't and um yeah it was cool we only spent two hours in there it was relaxing kenji slept the whole time there was a plethora of parking so i didn't have any issues with that and it really wasn't as bad as i thought it might be so i was happy with how that trip turned out anyway um this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and do not forget that i have a link for my website which has all of the links for products and stuff that i have gotten from amazon so definitely check that out i'll see you guys in the next one and thank you for watching bye